the center of these low pressures are often more powerful than hurricanes. It's being called a bomb cyclone. A storm that's been gaining strength in the Pacific Ocean for the past few days is inching towards the coasts of B.C. and Washington State. Periods of heavy rain and high winds are expected in the lower mainland, and the public can be on the lookout for some warnings. We could see winds even in coastal areas of Metro Vancouver, 60 to 80 kilometers per hour. Meteorologist Michael Coos says that any low pressure system is effectively a cyclone. But what exactly is a bomb cyclone? When we talk about a bomb, it's something that is deepening really rapidly, uh, 24 millibars in 24 hours. And this low pressure system has such a deep and powerful core. Now, now when the low is really great, uh, compared to high pressure, that creates strong winds because all that air has to move from one pressure area to another and that's what we're looking at a, a dramatic difference between the core of this low pressure center almost like a hurricane and then the high pressure area that's well off to the east on the prairies in fact the cargo vessel mv zim kingston lost over 40 containers near vancouver island on friday as a tip to one side while sailing through rough weather on storms like this so, so basically walk out to the end of your driveway um, and look up at the top of your house that's that's the wave that's coming at you. Seasoned sailor Bert Turhart was setting out from the B.C. coast this time last year in his sailboat to travel the world, trying to avoid a storm just like this one. The prevailing winds drive sailboats and, well, basically all, all boats onto a lee shore. It's, it's one of the reasons why this part of the world is called the graveyard of the Pacific, because these um, autumnal storms basically pound boats onto a very unforgiving and harsh uh, shore. Meanwhile, on shore, BC Hydro crews are on standby. People are encouraged to have enough supplies for up to 72 hours. Or what our crews could potentially be doing will be taking off a branch off a line, restringing wire, or conducting a full-on power pole replacement. And because it's difficult to predict how much damage a storm will cause and how long our power outage will last for, that's why we always encourage our customers to be prepared. I think some of the modeling uh, doesn't show the strongest winds tonight or tomorrow morning, but another impulse of powerful winds is even the center of the low weakens out, but the, the trough or the front associated with it could bring us some pretty strong winds even on Tuesday. And in advance of the expected storm, BC Ferries has already canceled a number of its Monday morning sailings on several major routes. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.